intended 312 squadron as I con constantly travel back and forth pretty much here from here to California and back multiple times three times coming up here in one month for work so uh we're doing a Saturday stream doing two games tonight we're doing first game Nickel City X-Wing Draft League Week 7 game between the Meatbags and the Shadow Casters. And then Game 2 will be List Chaos, a little 312 after dark. Uh, let's see. I don't know why the alert... Oh, there we go. Turn the alert box back on. Traveling my fancy car. Yeah, well, let's... So my car is both not fancy and also cost me an insane amount of money as I finally rescued my Subaru, a Subi, which apparently is a car for lesbians, which I just, just learned about, which is... Extra credit there for myself for uh, buying a Subaru based on that uh, knowledge um, that I did not have until now. Um, $3,700 later. Thank you to everybody that uh, helped subscribe, donated to help soften the blow of an insanely expensive rescue. And Schomburg had to go into basically to Schomburg to get the car back. Um, but we're here. We're back. Hopefully you don't have any more issues any uh, unforeseen catastrophic things happen I'm gonna try not to drive too much although the whole purpose of owning a car is to use it so it should be good though there's a new engine in there now so yeah uh all right well hello what's up andre hello everybody who's trickling in uh we will be uh i'll be back here on friday the third and guess what everybody we're gonna be doing a may the fourth celebration in-person x-wing stream at my place we're gonna do three games of in-person x-wing with the hot mics gonna be super casual and fun three games with a bunch of different people i think even joel springle snaggletooth might be coming he says that he's gonna be in the city and he wants to play so there's a chance that we even have a joel sighting so uh be sure to mark that in your calendar that is Saturday, May the 4th, around 11 a.m. I haven't made the announcement yet, but you get the announcement now. We'll be doing three games of in-person X-Wing, trying to make up uh, for lost time and opportunities to stream because I just haven't been around. So we'll be back to a more regular schedule soon. The Patreon rewards for Q2 are officially in the mail as well. I want to thank everybody for supporting us on Patreon. We have almost 40 members now, 4-0. So if you guys want some awesome exclusive cards, future swag, metal objective tokens, and more be sure to uh, check out our patreon three tiers exclamation point patreon anyways let's get to the game finally enough about me let's talk about you let me update uh the let's see um gotta do shadow casters i was do working on the overlay until i realized it ran out of time when the intro ran out all right here we go we've got scum versus empire here in this showdown between charlie sherman and Charles Holcomb. It's uh, whoever wins changes the other person's name is apparently the wager. That's what's on the line with this game. Names are on the line. So first representing Scum here and the Meatbags. We've got Charlie Sherman, Tecumseh Sherman. A familiar list. We've seen this on our stream before. We've got Fen Rao leading off at the top of the order here with Clan Training, Beskar Reinforced Plating and Shield Upgrade, a little bit more defensive of a heavy hitter here. We've got Dirge with Marksmanship, Proton Cannons, and False Transponder Codes. I might as well pull up the cards for you all because you can see them. There's Dirge. Then we've got Lima Kai in the Y Wing with Plasma Torpedoes, R5 TK. Uh, you can perform a text against friendly, so that's that that would really only come into play, I think, if, if he wanted to trigger our Lee's ability. Probably not happening. Interesting choice, though, not R4, B11, but R5, TK. And uh, seismic charges. Then Cad Bane has cutthroat, synced lasers, false transponder codes as well, so double codes in this list. And Xandu blood. And our Lee's Handrassian. With those cluster missiles and thermal detonators all right on the right side representing the shadow casters that is captain jammin's team of course didn't mention captain teddy roosevelt for meatbags jammin captain of the shadow casters and we've got a duncan howard list sighting charles well known in the x-wing community in the atlanta georgia area also just a great player great guy nice guy we're chatting catching up Bring an SSP Vader, standardized Vader, from the starter set. Some of you like to say pay to win Vader. With hate, 
ion missiles and afterburners colonel jenden has that no escape push the limit proton cannons computer assisted handling and yo mama tomax bren has the true grit plasma torpedoes ion bombs and vizier as palpatine there for that white coordinate after the aileron boost we are about ready to rock and roll the road roll has been rolled time has started it's chance engagement who will win the naming rights to charles slash charlie two chucks enter one chuck leaves let's open up betting here everybody as cloudbot was off before for for no reason at all it is on now and the betting is open let's come on let's get a decent amount of bets for this game haven't haven't been yet a 312 stream in a while i haven't been streaming in a while i got a haircut i look just so great don't i let's bet in in honor of all of those things all right let's also drop down to our pov you perfect boom Oh man, we're so we're a couple. We're we're uh what almost two weeks removed from this announcement or at the grand tournaments that I think pissed off a lot of people, including me. Um, and I uh you know I haven't my sourness on the topic has not waned per se, but my ambivalence and um my kind of just not really caring anymore vibe has kicked in. It's just whatever, you know? Uh, still gotta keep doing this. And we're gonna keep playing X-Wing. Um, but, you know, I'm curious what you all think. Again, I I, I don't censor really here. Um, it was pretty brutally honest when we did our live stream uh, covering it with, with Manny. And eventually we'll have our podcast episode about it. It's just, Andrew was in Europe, I've been traveling. We'll, we'll, get, the, we'll get to it. Uh, I was pretty honest that I thought that this was just pound for pound worse and there uh than what we had last year you're taking away store champs with with store kits including a world's invite removing all of that and kind of forcing people to play at a larger event claiming that worlds excluded a lot of people and by that logic then every tournament that would be considered a grand like gen con lvo pax uh lone star nova you name them were all ex uh, excluded players as well uh, it didn't really work. That ex explanation really makes sense. It, it really is a cost cutting measure. And because the Embracer group is selling, uh, it's dividing their entities into three parts. The Embracer group not only owns Asmodee, but they also own the rights to the Lord of the Rings. Uh, they uh, It made sense that they tried to cut costs because they didn't make enough money. We saw Worlds as a huge success, which I think it was in terms of turnout. They saw it as a money pit. And it sucks. So curious if anybody has, you know, maybe you're you're y'all are are tired of talking about it. I'm I just haven't been able to have a discourse with anybody, but a couple of folks on this, a couple of our locals. So whatever you guys are thinking, taking some some locks out there because of codes makes sense for Charles. Teddy is here. Tyler, if you I don't know if you're like home. You're welcome to hop in the booth. I'm in the booth right now. If anybody wants to join me. I'm just kind of chilling here. Don't mind being alone, but the invite is open. I'm surprised that nobody nobody has anything to say about the GT thing, huh? Like, is there just nothing to say? Have I missed everything? It's just. Not being able to play for something bigger is, is one of the biggest downsides. You're supposed to go watch a movie with my fiance, yeah, fair enough. It is what it is. I mean, it is what it is, but. I'll say for the podcast, Manny inviting himself onto the podcast, not realizing he's been permanent perma banned. Nah, I'm just kidding. <sighs> GT, the GT will likely be in Australia. 
I mean, I would argue there is no reason or incentive, depending on cynical you are, to make it to any of, you know, these places that are significantly far away from you. Okay, so those of you that didn't, a Hollywood Reporter just announced, um, Warner Brothers just announced that the Lord of the Rings 4K remaster extended editions are coming back into theaters in June. I've already bought my tickets for three straight days. Three different theaters in Chicago land to see each one. I am so excited, guys. Oh my God. You have no idea how freaking excited I am. Hyped. You should absolutely go and watch them in theaters. Turn of the King is goaded. I'm going to turn off the dice cam, I guess, for now. So turn two coming up. Dials are being set. I do have to say, Jendon is poised to flank nicely. Maybe a three bank target lock boost next turn. Oh no. And our Lee's officially gets debris. And we'll take a stress. And let's see, let's see how, how close that ended up being. Not part it's definitely by a bit. Not not super close, but yeah, our Lees could... Is, is there a world where our Lees gets one-shotted? Um, I don't know if we saw our Lees take any damage. Did did take a shield. Because I did not have the dice cam on. Now I do. <laughs> Wait, our Lees is Kira. <laughs> ha, funny guy. Charles's list should be illegal. Ban. I'm just ready for like some some sort of change. I did like playing the list that I played yesterday. It's Vader, Soontir, Tomax, um, Lareer, and Scythe Six. It's a solid five ship list. Solid. Ooh, Vader is is banking in. He's probably taking a lock. On Lima Kai. Lima isn't going to have a shot unless Jenny gets real aggressive. Fen, Fen, though, is at free reign to five straight boost. He won't get into range one, but he'll probably get a range two shot on Vader. And yep, Jenny already lining up the bullseye for a proton cannon. The question is. Does Dirge have Bullseye on Jendon right now? He absolutely does. Does Jendon actually have Bullseye on our Lees? No, I don't. I don't know. I don't think so, but definitely on Dirge. So he's going to grab his free target lock. You can't put it on dirge because it could get jammed off. We are, for those that are in the Chicagoland area or neighboring state, we will be doing a tournament in July. I've yet to announce it, but it has been the date has been secured. It will be a community run event and it will be extended. So just kind of mark your calendars if you'd be interested. Uh, we always put on really awesome, fun events like just 
tons of fun. Maybe we'll make like a fake worlds invite. And I wonder if he's debating on barrel rolling or if he's going to focus. Because he has Palpatine, so he could just evade. Right? I mean, if, if you know, he's going to barrel roll. Okay. So it gets out of Dirge's bullseye, which is, is, is pretty much... So he got to use, yeah, Jenning gets that free single time use reposition. So he uses the charge there and he still focuses. Man, he's just, the, some of the standardized stuff is just so powerful. The sort of kind of combos that you can unlock or take advantage of. And Jenden certainly has that prowess. So Fen finally rocking and rolling here. Here he comes. I assume he's going... No, he he does a looks like a two bank, a three bank. So you, I think you're pretty enticed to try to get in Jendon's face because Jendon's going to be taking damage himself to get the extra die, assuming Charles decides to do that at least once. Still think just spending your shields on chance is risky. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, three points is three points, right? It's, it's still a decent amount to lose. And th this is, this is four. Sh I mean, they, I, here's the thing. Well, it's only three shots because our Lee's is rocked. Uh, we got range three from Vader. On to Lima Kai. Oh, Vader, spend the lock. One becomes a crit. You got uh, marksmanship as well. So that was uh, advanced targeting. And spend that force. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I keep thinking as boy Vader. And look at that. So blank to blank already. Chance engagement. Boy Vader would have been uh, helpful there. SSP Vader fails to get any damage through as, as Natty evades get thrown by Lima. And now we have Colonel Jenden firing range two at our Lees. Spending the target lock. For a hit, hit, crit. Can our Lees roll the squig? No. He takes it all. And now our Lees' ability is live for you know however much it matters. Two damage cards through, though, and the crit is going to be a console fire. I hope you can, dude. I hope you can. It would be great. I don't want to lose that tradition of having you guys over and having a good time. All right, so that is half points on, on our Lee's hand, Jurassian. And uh, Fen Rao only rolled one hit. Jenden is okay. Tomax got nothing. False Transponder Codes is absolutely going to play a role now. Um, I'm going to need to make sure Charles removes that lock on the rock. And Jenden, wow, barely rolls enough. It rolls enough. And now our Lee's, or rather, Lee Makai with a Natty primary. Can we get maybe a damage in here? Range three. We cannot, as this focus will be spent. Now, I, I would imagine that Jenden is... is uh, Sorry, I can't speak. That Charlie is going to try everything he can to block up Jenden and have Fen Rock come in there and hit him hard with the hammer. Uh, unfortunately for Fen, he's got to be careful of Vader. You know, does does Lima divert to try to block Vader? And then it's one less gun out there. I don't think you do that. So Charles is in an interesting spot here. Vader in a great spot. Jenden a little tricky. I don't know how I feel about it. But I assure his Vizier will be providing a evade of some sort to Jenden. Um, let's just make sure. 
Mm -hmm. Hey guys, just because codes matters, um, can you remove the lock on the obstacle? Because you took it with Jendon on somebody else earlier. If you don't mind. Thank you. All right. I wouldn't want Charlie to like take a lock on Jendon and then it'd be like, oh, but he has a lock on an obstacle. And then it doesn't matter. Jendon took a lock on Arlie's. All right, round three uh, coming up here. Uh, definitely advantage, definitely Empire. Charlie been playing this list pretty well. Um, it's a solid list. I do like what it is capable of doing. Um, he played very well against JJ on our stream a few weeks ago. Fortunately, we were not able to stream any games for week five or six, but here we are for week seven. So we've done week one through four and week seven here. Coverage was pretty still decent. Vizier coordinate boost right is an option. Yeah, he could coordinate a boost. That's true. I don't know if he would bought a boost pilot right. Would that be, would that have put him in line of the debris at all? I think it would. Yeah, definitely. You could boost pilot left. Um... The 4K won't get you that far, though. I'm also wondering if you kind of maybe pull a surprise on Vader. But Fenrau isn't really in a spot to, to capitalize. Vader's going to probably go fast enough that Fenrau would block. Not get a meaningful range one shot. He's in an, an Isaac sandwich. Yeah. Serenity now, says Fenrau. Serenity now! Should be one. Uh, I think Charles should have two points and not one point. Correct? Am I wrong, guys? I don't want to like type in the chat in the game if, if I'm wrong. So you got a he got a point for half on our Lees and then center point each of them. So it would be one for Charlie, two for Charles. He's done four. Is the overlay right? No. Are you... Is he... He's fuck. Is that a... Is he... Is Greg, like, screwed with us? Is there some, like, high level of humor here? They have six hole. And, yeah, there's five hole for the Republic Y Wing and three shields. That's the only Y Wing that has, like, a different amount of health. All right, here we go. Or Lee's gonna clear some of that stress. I just thought scum why we said five hole. That's so weird, Greg. Like how many it's how many games have you streamed? Because <laughs> it's scum. <laughs> Uh, I think that at least took a lockout. Okay. On Viz, who evaded. That's interesting. So didn't coordinate. Charles is second player, but there was no coordinating. Vizier decides to be defensive and takes an evade. Why is Jenna not boosting? I don't know, my guy. Decided not to do the, the thing. Is focusing, not not locking for codes. 
Focus link roll. I have no idea where Jenin's going now. I don't know what clears. JJ wins, making this a deciding game seven. Awesome. Let's get more viewers in here, huh? Subscribe to my OnlyFans. This just in, you see? JJ has won his game, you see, for the Shadowcasters, you see? So this game, you see, means a lot, you see. Lima, uh, does Lima have arc for the plasma torpedo? Here's Tomax gonna do his barrel roll thing. Lima, Lima totally does, yeah. Gonna barrel roll, focus lock, first stress. This is now game seven. I like it. I like it. You lo you love to see it. Oh, he's rolling, folks. Here's the thing. You uh, you really could only shoot this plasma at Arlie's. Is you 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 lock you lock uh dirge or cad and you uh codes you get coded. So he might just might not even be doing the link to the lock. Oh, is he? And he's yeah he's just gonna do it to our Lees who could die this turn, pretty easily. Uh, although we'll be able to shoot, I think, cause unless there's like a direct from the plasma torpedo. Mm, oh man. So now I think I do, do you oh, oh he's oh man that's interesting play because if Jenin got if he didn't boost there Jenin got blocked by one of those two then he would have a really good range one shot on him he could take a lock on him and then clan training a focus no pressure Charles but we are all counting on you JJ, something about the post office and your address, dude. I got a bounce back again, sending you some goods for your, you know, donation. And I'm just going to package your stuff for Patreon all in one with that stuff. Because the second time the post office has sent your stuff back. And this time they said that the padded envelope was a package and it wasn't an envelope. Which was like, that's bullshit. But, but it's okay. I uh, When I get back next week, I'm just going to go to the post office and ship it all to you so you get it. It's just kind of silly. Thank you for the sub, dude, by the way. Resubbing. Yeah, yeah, no worries. It's just annoying, right? So that's scary, man. But Fenrod does have five hit points, but Vader Vader is going to take the lock on him. Oh, well. You know what? It works out. Jendon running away like an absolute scared little baby. I gotta be honest, I think this is the turn that you t target lock to blow codes to get rid of a false transponder of codes. You sound other weather, Nick. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm not sick, but I think my just just have been having a lot of like it's it, today was it was almost 80 degrees outside, and I think just because I've been in California a lot here when it's been cold just some allergies so a little congestion be flying tomorrow back to socal see he needs to block those things if you want jenna but maybe he wants to shoot vizier or tomax i don't know i mean this is this is clearly a play into vizier i mean how many shots are going into vizier four five your nose is sounding costanzian Oh yeah, well, the jack store call, and they're running out of you. Damn it! Here we go. Oh, it's obstructed. Think you still think you shoot at Vizier? Palpatine is such a 
the summer of Nick, the summer of George, the summer of George. JJ, I won a, I won a X-Wing game yesterday. Did you see that? Man, soon tier and Vader were absolute nails in that game too. Just ridiculous. All right, so this is oh, oh! not a good start. E e yeah. Oh. Ties happen. That's a that's a fucking shirt. Range two into Fen. Fen still has his focus. And uh, SSP Vader to suspend the focus for a hit hit crit. Fen Rao, can he roll some paint? He does roll a decent amount of paint. Spence takes his shield. You'll take it. Those range two shots are scary, man. like range three Lee Makai with a plasma torpedo three on two can you at least melt the shields off here hit crit spending the lock would like to get three here shaking it up rolling the die gets three hit hit crit spend Palpatine there I think takes two shields so Vizier starting to take some damage the evade's still out there. Oh, very nice. We do have ourselves a proton cannon, baby. And that is pretty solid. Uh, spend the focus. That's going to be uh, two hits and a, uh, three hits and a crit. Marksmanship as well, I think. No, no marksmanship. Not spending the evade, apparently. I also, we, I'm not sure why we didn't get marksmanship as a structural damage comes into Viz. Ooh, boy. That's not great, Bob. SD, for those of you keeping score at home, three hole remaining. Now, Tomax Bren firing a plasma torpedo. Oh, dead to rights. You're right. Yep, you're right. Wouldn't have been able to use the evade anyways. So did take it all. Dead Wright's coming in clutch there for sure. For Shizzle. Did Reutz there? Sold it? Sold it? There's not Reutz there. Sold it? Sold it called Dead Reutz? Oh, there it is. That's three. Arlees. And Jurassian gets the evade. Arlees takes two. Uh, stick it around for a moment. Clone Commander Nick. My name is Boa Fett. I tend to rule with respect. Oh, <laughs> synced lasers into a structurally damaged Vizzy Vizzy Viz. And I think I think Charlie is going to get Vizier this turn. I mean, he's structural damage with three three hole left. Still two shots coming in. So synced lasers. What do we get here, folks? What kind of spicy meatball are we looking at? Hello, spicy meatball uh, should not be rolling two dice. He has a structural damage. Nope. Uh, a console fire roll for Arlie's no damage. Is he down to one? Charlie Shizzle shooting V Z Zizzy. Yeah. Yes. 
that is what is happening. A cluster missile, it'll be, it just, you just need one result, you're gone. See you later, Vizier, you've been ejected from the premises. Get out of here, grab some pine, head over to the clubhouse, take a cold shower, and take the old man with the force with you. The Senate has been obliterated here. It's civil war on the mat in round three. Anybody seen Civil War? Alex Garland's latest feature film. I saw it. Honestly, didn't love it, but it's still I still enjoyed it. I'm a big Annihilation fan. Big Annihilation fan. Oh, I was hoping for a little bit more psychological terror. Cluster double tap baby. Good call there. Double crits. What is Tomax going to take here? He spent his focus. Tomax. Rolling only one because he true gritted. Which I don't like true gritting when you can get shot at at all, but he did it. Console fire. Here's the thing. I don't know if why why true grit there if you're probably going to do like a one straight or a two bang anyway. Is it because he wants to be able to do like a three, four straight? Great turn for Charlie, though. I mean, my goodness. Jendon not shooting. Only a shield down on your boy Fen Rao and no damage into Arlie's. Well, sorry, two damage to Arlie's, but not dead and no console fire damage as well as both sides get a point heading into round four. Charlie Sherman of Meatbags with the advantage here. Probably didn't realize he was going to get shot. I just don't like True Grit, man. I will only True Grit if I'm like, I need to do a white maneuver this turn. I just don't like straining my Bama. Merrick better than Vizier. I'm a big Merrick stan. I do stan Merrick Steel. And Merrick, if Merrick had shot at Arlie's, you're gone. Like, sorry. Sayonara Sammy. Would have been able to initiative kill. Uh, Arlie's instead. Ar Arlie's is. <laughs> I don't think so. Two hole left. So now Vader coming in from behind. That is the only thing I think that, you know, 4K from Jen in the most obvious maneuver of our lives. Vader has a lock on Fen still. So the false transponder codes isn't going to have as much of an impact. However,. Does Fen Rao just go after Tommy Boy? I think Arlie's maybe just scooches and tries to block block Tomax, and then Fen does a two straight and says, Hey, see ya! Here's Johnny! Yeah, I mean, Jendon is going to have a lot less to lead on. Without Vizier, Vizier is really there to support Jendon. Jendon Cheeky 2K. Here's the issue with that. Is that he is full throttle or whatever you like uh, uh, Chiss Chiss Engineering. He a 4K is better because then he can go fast enough and not be like kind of in the middle of the board next turn. He also won't be stressed. So I don't know if I love. Although he can use that thing where he can replace his stress for a strain, right? But I don't know. He could 2k, but I just don't like it. I think the 4k is better, even though you're not going to have the best shot this coming turn. I've got my Serenity now. Stress ball thing. It's like a cat. ASMR. Also, perfect segue into our giveaways 75 will do scenario die that's 61 right now got a ways to go and then 90 will give away some a set of a pair of marble dice the glitter dice it's high it's very high but i think i'll drop that down soon if we can if we can at least hit i'd say if we can hit 90 whenever we do then i'll swap the glitter die in the um, objective token. Or we could do both. If we had 100 later on, we could do both the objective token and the glitter dice. So 
But those are the giveaway goals we've got going for a while. As long as we can. 3-1 dollar sign is doing its thing. You know? Here we go. Here is the road roll. It's turn four, everybody. Fasten those seatbelts. Also, did the Chicago Cubs lose 17-0 to the Red Sox today? They did. Nobody asked, but still kind of... I didn't really get the chance to watch. I'm glad I, I wouldn't have fin watched that game if, you know... But, uh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ on a motorbike. Where did Vizier go? He got shot at five times. Ryan Staniszewski hitting me with the <laughs> emote many times. All right, Ryan, I missed the GSP episode, but don't tell me y'all were on the podcast trying to convince people that not having worlds is a good thing. Don't you, don't you tell me. That's, that's what you did. Don't you tell me. WTF or evasions? We tied the Jeremy Jim. So you guys didn't even talk about it? Okay. I need to watch that episode. Interesting. Well, I, I'm glad I'm not alone in terms of having a delayed. I mean, I had a live stream talking about it, but I didn't do it into our podcast yet on it. I am not happy about that. But honestly, I think it's the one time where I feel like anybody can say it's reasonable to be upset about it. Whereas up to this point, people have had their fiery opinions on pro or anti AMG. I think this is one that a lot more people are probably unified on. TBH. Like, it just sucks. I don't know. Can't really spin it as being like good that there's no worlds. <laughs> What really sucks, Ryan, if you think about it, is all the people that you know who have become friends with who um, are from, like, out of the country, they're, you're, you might not ever see them again, dude, unless you go and visit them there, which I'm saying some of you will be able to, but the means to do that is difficult. So it's just like the means for them to be here was difficult, but they made it work. But that, that sucks. A lot of the people that I know or I got to meet from uh, outside of the U.S., I might not ever see again. Seen one YouTuber spinning it to be good. I think he's trying too hard with it. I just don't know how you can really spin it, dude. And for the reasoning implied, it's like, it's not because of money. It's like they said it was because of money, but it was it's purely because of money. But they're like, it was worlds like what excluded too many people. It's like, dude, all these major events exclude people like store champs exclude people. If you're not able to play there, you're not able to play. I don't know. It's expensive to live in general, let alone travel anywhere. Now it's America's turn to travel. I'd, I'd come to see you, Desi. It is asking a lot out of tournament organizers to be like, hey, uh, find 34 people, including judges. You've, we've doubled your workload. Good luck. It's like, I can't. I'm going to help. Put at least a couple on here locally, but I won't be the like the organizer. It was hard to get. I mean, we 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 surpassed sixteen for our tournaments every time, but it always sometimes it really comes down to the wire. And that's in a major metropolitan area connected to a lot of local X Wing communities, and it was hard. The other thing, Ryan, is just since we're talking about this, is not giving people any time to fill out the application is sucks. 
and if we are gonna like move into like hey fill out this application immediately like i think having a more like finite like teaser of like what price support would be like or talking about price support what it would be like would help i just thought that you know and I, i'm sure they didn't have the time to give people time but it still sucks Like, get people if you want to, like, because I can't find a store here that could hold that could hold space for for 16 plus X-Wing games. Ooh, that's a lot of people. And I'm certainly not, you know, AMG, obviously, why would they? But they're not going to, like, pitch in money to, like, rent a space. So I and I can't afford to rent one. I would love to. You would think three one dollars. I would have the money, right? I like those thermal detonator drops, but it's bad for for cad but it does hit well it hits it hits mostly scum but it does hit tomax so we're rolling for cad first who takes a strain my quote for two days 10 hours a day for a legion hall was 1250 yeah geez dude to me that doesn't even i think that's a lot right don't get me wrong but for that doesn't seem like a lot at the same time like it could be more but it's still a lot uh okay what's the crit on tomax i can't remember if i check console fire all right let me make sure i just get all the damage right that i need to one two three four five harley's is down to one Cad took no damage. Okay. So here's Vader for the kill shot into our Lees. See you later, our Lees. Our Lees, honestly, our Lees being able to to take out Vizier, I think, is enough value for for Charlie. Dude, I'll uh, I'll I'll make the, I'd make the trip t for that. I would I would I would do that. Get in as range three. Range three obstructed onto dirge or range. There's a lock on. Yeah, codes was spent. Okay. Jesus. So, strain taken two. So, CAD takes two. Yeah, I bet I thought that Fen Rao play was like, I just don't think you're gonna get Fen Rao this game the way the complexity of the game is kind of shaped up. So yes, I should have shot at Arlies probably instead of trying to get a two damage into Fen Rao on average, that's maybe the most you get. There's there's some shots going into at least two shots here into Vader. I mean, can you get half on Vader? Can you get some shields down? Hit crit. Can Vader roll some blanks? He will not. He rolls two evades there. He gets out of that one. Now, this shot's interesting. This shot from Cad. Dead to right, so you'd have to spend his force. Three dice. And there you go. Spend for three. And if this hits, does he have a token to throw over? I don't think so. Gonna have to spend his force, but he's gonna be okay. Man, Vader, rolling like Vader can. Do you think, do you, 
well here's here's the thing you're probably gonna say yes just because you're more of an optimist than i am but i don't know if I, i'm good there's gonna be enough gts that meet the requirements to be gts because of the player requirements remember the whole fiasco about people not qualifying for their world's invite like that still exists and if anything i think less people are going to be inclined to play based on this news i actually think it's a very fair assumption to make that some people are not going to play based on this news i think worlds was a big reason why some people like hung on that weren't super invested in the game still but play you know still played so yeah in the world where there's gts everywhere there's every you know, 32 plus people minimum everywhere they said it was subject to change based on the region but it said it also said 32 minimum so i was a little confused on that I'm going to miss the store champs, though. You're going to be like, oh, well, there'll still be store champs. I don't have a reason to believe there's going to be a store kit because of cost cutting measures and because it wasn't mentioned. And because there's no invite, I don't know why you would have a store, store champ kit. But hey, if that happens, that's great. To me, I just like removing two of these, like of this, removing the lowest level and the highest level and just leaving the middle level. Is, it just feels like too much. If there's still store champs and GTs, then okay. Like, I still don't love it, but I can tolerate it. That's, yeah, I know exactly. World's Advice was the reason why a lot of people made the effort to go out and play in store champs. I mean, you cannot deny that. Absolutely 100%. It's just a fact. Yeah, and that's and, and you know AMG like the like swag like they they have an interesting track record on swag and like and prizes. They've had some events where they've gone above and beyond, and then some where like the world's participation prize was just it was misprinted soon tier. It's just like a little inconsistency. So I don't can't I don't know what to expect, but because we haven't gotten teased anything, I'm mean, like I don't. It's reasonable for me to not be hyped. If all it is is the traveling prize wall, who boy, that was pretty mad worlds. All right, we're heading into we're ready for round five, it looks like. So we're getting an eye on bomb drop. Man, Fed is just so out of position. It's just it's just oh, if only he was able to threaten. I think this is this is uh feels like this is gonna be Charles game to lose at this point even though he's behind by one he will be up soon And another disengage. I think the reality is that we're in a position now where the attention and love for the games that Asmodee or, you know, Atomic Mass games, um, Shepherds is just going to be taking a hit no matter what because of cost. Of operating they were raising prices again as well on their product but it was, what was interesting was that they announced this gt style thing for all games right so a, a sink a lowering tide sinks all boats in this case and like a complete disengage we've got multiple ships completely disengaging is that gonna be range one of the bomb it looks like it will be oh yeah for sure And if anybody, if I, if I catch anybody saying, well, they're just, maybe they're just working on a 3.0. Get out of here. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it.
Taking that lock on Fen. Fenius. Fen two away from half. He's three points. At half. Vader is untouched. Let me just verify that. Vader is untouched. Jendon untouched. Two away from half is um, Tomax, who did clear his console fire. Yeah, it's tough for, for Lima. Lima not taking any damage yet, but about to take some. Fen is absolutely eating the Ion. Does a barrel roll get him out of range one of the Ion Bomb? It might if he goes all the way back. Oh. To Max is on four hole, is he? Oh, he does have two cards. Thanks, guys. Hi, Mike. Appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, interesting. So accepting the ion bomb. Huh. Vader does not have a shot and they both will get ionized. Not sure how much Dirge cares about that. It's just one straight's focus is next turn. Fen absolutely hates it though. Vader's got no shot. Jendon, though, range one on Lee Makai. Lima's doing this right now. Sorry, folks, this is the roll. They keep leaving the road dice in there. I'm forgetting to turn on the dice cam again. All right, so hit, crit, crit, and Lima, Lima takes it all. That is a direct hit. Lima, Kai, it's half. Tie game. Fen, going after Tomax. Let's get half points and see what we can do. Oh, another rough roll for for Fen Rao. Just one. He has the focus and everything. So he barrel rolled that way to get that shot, and now he he's gonna get one through. He's gonna get half. Blanks out. Yeah, Sav, I appreciate uh, I appreciate that comment because I think you're probably right. I feel like it's kind of my job to keep the game going in different ways. Greg feels the same way. We're not like faces of X-Wing, but, you know, in a way we might be getting in that direction. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Another blank out. Who is this from? Is this was in the Vader? This was in the Jendon. This, sorry, that was Lima's shot into Jendon, I think. Who takes two, and all of a sudden Jendon would be down to two away Vader not rolling great but only one he's fine nine to eight now heading into the halfway point six rounds here make it official with 20 minutes left at least one more round Now, Vader, Vader is going to have to be mindful of 
first player here. I assume Fenrau banks. Dirge has not taken any damage yet. Cat is the one that's close, closest to half of the two, and he's probably not getting pursued. Jendon could go after him, but then, like, Lima just gets a free plasma torpedo, which is super scary for him. Because I think if I think if you take half on Jendon, I think I feel like the game would be over. Just you lose three points there. Fen Rao, I don't. It just Vader's just. There's just no way Fen Rao is gonna die this turn unless you can totally gang up on him. Just gonna keep the game going by continuing to play in draft league. If only draft leagues existed, that would be enough X Wing for me to stay happy. But I know I'm not representative of the community in that respect. Yeah, fair, fair enough. Hey everybody, we'll be having our team league signups open fairly soon as well. There'll be very minimal overlap with the draft league. I think just a week or two, maybe just the playoffs, but. Um, cause it's, is it 10 weeks for the draft league guys? Cause I'm going to be opening up signups for the team league in like probably a week. So if anybody's interested, it's, it's, it are, there are a lot of differences between the two. I think they're really, it's really fun though. Uh, we had a really great inaugural season. It's teams of three people could form their own team or just be an indie player and be put on their own team. There's a captain. There's still pairings that are done between the teams. This is actually pretty cool. Three or four weeks of playoffs. Yeah, so we'll probably start the team league during the playoffs. I highly recommend it, though. You guys will have it. Team league's fun. Everybody had a really good time. And the standings, like, um, first season, it was uh, tiebreakers, mission points. Some, some similarities, some not to the draft league. All right, so Charlie is going to be first player. Not sure how much he cares about that. Do we get another ion bomb drop? I don't know. Does the one bank, the one bank probably hits Fen again with the ion bomb. Mission points as it should be. None of the SOA. Yeah, no. The secondary tiebreaker is actually uh, captain performance, like overall record for captains. Subject to change. But nine to eight, what a game. A game seven here, a series decider. As the uh, Ion Bomb, second one for Tomax getting dropped. And it's absolutely going to be close enough to hit Fen again. Yeah, here you go. So you're slowing Fen down. Can you capitalize on it? That's the real question. Cat is slowly coming for, for Tomax. He might be turning the other way. Lima K turns. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. We could be getting setting ourselves up for a plasma torpedo. Uh, doing our ion maneuver. Banking it. Banking it, spanking it. As they say. Focusing up. Oh, he is going towards CAD. That looks like that's going to be range three. And he's going to do the barrel roll wombo combo here. Focus lock, I think. He's already fired one plasma torpedo. Mm. 
There you go. So Cad um, has already lost his shields, so he wouldn't take the extra damage. But could be half, and that's two points. That would get Charles the lead. Chance engagements, just it's, it do be like that, man. Do be like this, man. I assume he's banking it. He's banking it, spanking it. So Fen will have a shot on Tomax. Does his eye on focus. Oh, great block. A great block there. I don't see why Vader should focus because of dead to rights. He still works at range zero. And a 4K from Jenden, who I think is going to have... Oh, yeah, absolutely will have Lima. So unfortunately for Lima, not going to be able to get that plasma torpedo uh, from the lock ability. But hey, maybe you sneak in another damage or two. Who knows? Lima already halved. And Jendon's gonna not he's probably not gonna want to spend a shield here to roll the extra die. The stress on Vader is from trying to free talent. Is that what he had dialed in? I guess so, yes. Fen is ionized again. Range three obstructed from Ben. Can he roll? Can he roll some more paints than he did last time? Streamer curse? Question mark. Hey, hit crit. That is more paints. Four dice. And oh, he's gonna have to. I think he's gonna have to spend his focus. He does, and he rolls out of it. But that's a big spend there. That could be big. Vader. So range zero. Two dice on an untouched dirge. Hit crit. You gotta love range zero, man. It's just so great. Takes one. Range zero just feels like you're just stumbling into dealing damage. It's just it's just so inauthentic. We we all hate it. Alright, Jendin. Looks like on the Lima. Three dice. Lima down to just four. Holding on for dear life. Spend the lock. Charlie hoping for a blank to blank action here. Nah, spend the focus for three. No crits though, at least. Lima takes it on the chin. Three. Down to one. This is going to be a shot on... You can get two shots on Jendon here, but we'll go with uh, Lima Kai first. Can you get some natties on your side? Just one. Jendon spent the focus, though, everybody. I'm just saying. I'm just... Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Range three from Dirge. Two dice. I think he has a focus. Just one. Hmm. Rolls and evade, man. Okay. So here's the plasma torpedo. Last one. So single modded, you get a tar you got your target lock. I think Cat is two away from half. And you need your lock. Spend it. You got only one so far. Reroll those eyeballs. Again, we do have one more game after this. Not a draft league game, but still. Two hits. Okay. Cad. Oh, does he take it? You're not gonna probably not killing Tomax. Oh, he doesn't have a focus. You could kill him. Yeah, he's like, oh, can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get him? He's going to spend. Take nothing. And you could double stress. If, if this attack hits everybody, he's double stressing Tomax. He's sending his stress over there. 
hit crit. I mean, hey, it it, it took that it's it might hit. And is that an evade? Two evades. Oh, not today, Satan. Ten to nine, heading into round seven. Jendon down just two away from half. We've got a Lima Kai on one and a Dirge lurking. Great news for, for Charlie is that Vader's stressed. He's not really going to be engaging this turn. What a game. Go to our top down view. Somebody say something. I'm losing it. Am I in focus? Like, not there. Here I am. Once again. Shannon cannot 4k this turn. Why? Because Fen Rao will have a five dice shot at him if he does. I don't know where Jenden goes. Do you one bank Jenden? Um so the issue with one banking Jenden is again you you give up you're you're taking a plasma torp. Assuming uh Lima just has like a one straight focuses. Is uh, this is a weird spot for Jenden. I don't know. I think Jenden is better off like three banking and just going after Well, Cad's going to come in as well. I I mean this is this is the turn. You got this your win condition is Jenden. Getting getting some and you're and uh, he's jammed. Look at that. Dirge using his false transponder codes finally jamming Jenden. Need his focus. And Tomax just says, I'm going to just kind of go the other way. Focuses. Almost felt like you could re re could reload here. And then grit the stress. I don't know. I'm not sure what he's doing. No, oh, he's going to barrel roll. Okay. Think to get some distance from Fen.
Fan banks and focuses. Fan doesn't mind getting shot at Regen at range one. Vader is going to have to clear the stress. He's too little too late, maybe, for Vader, huh? That great block. Dirge doing the one bank. The, I mean, he did have a lot of choices. He had a one straight or one bank with the ion, but he, he did the bank. So props to Charlie for that one. And there is the bank. Wow. What a spot for Lima Kai. What a spot for Lima Kai. <sighs> Gonna barrel roll. But he can't do anything else. He just roll. He just barrel rolls. He doesn't have any mods. Well, he has no escape. I believe. Unless Fen is range one a dirge, but he might be range one a dirge. I'm not so sure. So he might not even have no escape. So you should probably check. Oh, man. One. And he's fine. This is a big moment. A big moment. Can Charlie remember the target lock? Can he remember the lock? Yes! He remembers the lock! Oh, what a moment! Fires his plasma torpedo and Jendon has no tokens! This is for the game! Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. Spend the focus. Jendon needs natties. Jendon gets nothing! Jendon takes half! And he's on one! Shield, one, two, three! And he's gonna get shot at again. 13 to 9, Charlie. Synced laser cannon into a tokenless Jendon. He does have his ability now. Oh, well, no, no, it doesn't matter. Jendon can only change a blank to an eyeball. Can't change an eyeball to an evade. Synced lasers for two. Four dice for Jendon. Two natural evades is what you need. It's what the doctor orders. Doesn't get it! Jendon goes down! Down goes Jendon. That is a big swing. See you later. Colonel Jendon. Now 17 to 9. Oh, goodness. As Harry Carey would say, holy cow. What a moment. He has 16, it should be 17. Should be 17 to nine. Gets to 19 from the center. Yep, so it'd be 19 to nine. Wow, the meat bags take this game. Vader disengaging, focusing on Arliz a turn too late instead of finishing him off or sooner with Vader. He went after Fen. Fen getting ionized twice, but Fen's like, well, I don't care. And on one hole, Lima Kai with the ability to get, acquire the lock. If nobody has you in their front arc, Jen didn't go in the other way. Gets that free lock, double modded plasma torpedo, gets him down to one, and Cad Bane tips his big cap, fires a synced laser cannon, and down goes the boogeyman. See you later, world's smallest violin for Colonel Jendon. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy, though, in, in Charles. But it looks like now Charles' name is going to change. Charlie gets to change his name. So we've got one more game coming up here. I'll pay out the bets. Don't go too far if you guys want a nightcap game. List Chaos brought to you by 312 Squadron. Only one of you guys picked Charlie to win. Then you get a good amount of payout. Chaos.
chaos. All right, we'll be right back in just a moment. Just a quick word from our sponsor. 